Hello there, my name is Emin, EMC Soft, and in this video we continue our Bitrix administration course. So last time we discussed custom communication, employee alerts, employee monitoring, paperwork, payment, delivery, repeat sales, ads, and now we're discussing manage workflow items. So let's start from first one. Uh, we already discussed modify item, but we will discuss it again. And I will remove all my previous robots. And for example, I would put in that stage, which is in progress and uh, inside of it. So I will not use any condition. I will just change the name of the deal. So I will delete that and select field, click select name, which is name of the field. I can change any other fields, but the name field is the easiest one to explain. And I will put name of the deal as contact name, contact name last name and uh, company name and date date when that deal created deal created by created on and change behalf of admin which is me here i come oh here i come oh. okay okay right so in progress change name of a deal we'll create a new deal Give a name test. Contact name will be Emin. Company will be MC Soft. Right. So we got a deal with uh, test one name. Uh, once I change to change name of the deal, voila, I got name, surname, company name, and date. Date created. So very simple. Let's go check other robots manage workflow items tracked field value change so for example i got a stage which is product change it in that trigger if somebody will change budget for example i will change name budget and in this deal i go to the field budget so i created custom field which is budget and with the numeric fields with budget, for example, 10,000. Okay. So you're talking, talking to a customer and then accidentally you find out that customer want to change budget for some other value. So you're changing manually that budget, but once you've done it, a deal will change stage from that stage to the budget change it. And also uh, per my previous video, you can add notification to supervisor employee alerts so send message to employee but also you can add here notify supervisor so budget change it good now go to automation rules and so delete that and create we got also change observer so observer it's quite simple for example we got a stage here and that stage uh, needed to check by somebody else, some observer. We will just add here, add observer. But in your case, it could be different situation. But for example, in that uh, particular stage, you need to add an observer to a deal to check current situation with that particular deal. Okay, go to automation rule, create, change, observer. Uh, so we can execute time and also very important, we got in a condition because for example, the same as a budget, if for example, budget more than 10,000 could be one observer. If you got budget less than 10,000, can have another observer. For example, we got field here, budget. And if it's uh, more than 10,000, so, use apply to action observer add or change means add new observer delete observer which you selected or change observer you selected from current one to new one so i will use add and for example i will add mike smith as observer in case of budget 10,000, and i will put here and also i will create another observer and condition will be different and it will be budget and if less than 10,000. 
and here it will be Marcos. So um, inside the deal, I will put budget, for example, 15,000. Okay, so I should to have a observer as a Mike Smith, but also I need to select that observer and add to that deal. Okay, where is he? He's not here, probably he's somewhere here. Show always and I will put that observer next to responsible person. Right, so I'm changing deal to add observer to deal. Refresh. And I see that observer is Mike Smith added to the deal because our budget is more than 15,000. And uh, we need to we need to remove because we add observer here. And I will change a budget to 5,000. And go to up to observer to ideal, right? So refresh. And I got Marcos because budget is less than 10,000. Okay, let's check another robot. Let's delete that. And we have uh, change responsible person. Quite the same situation. And so we have a condition, could be budget and so on. It could be just a stage. And the new responsible person will be, for example, Mike Smith behalf of uh, admin, which is me. New responsible person in random order means that you can add many responsible persons here and it will be changed in random order. Usually that could be applied to the deals. When, for example, you got a lead created by form, by um, incoming message uh, from open channel, or incoming calls or post in Facebook or Instagram and you created new lead. So you can assign a responsible person first available. Available means that uh, currently working or specific order. Specific order means that one by one. So my Smeek, then Marcus, then Stefan. So it's uh, quite understandable if available, not available, which is, you know, to check in their working times. I mean this. So if clock in, then uh, he's walking. If not clock out, not walking. Yeah, this one. That what it was about clock out, clock, clock in, absent means that walking, not walking. Okay, good. I will delete that for now. Save and change responsible person here. And now a responsible person is a minimum middle. If I'm changing to budget change, it should be Mike Smith. Okay, Mike Smith now responsible person. Right, let's go further. Using call center 24, you may do a click by clicking on the number, select a number from which you want to call. You can add up to 100 numbers, make a call. During the call, you can add to the call any contact from your Bitrix from leads or contacts. You can add call call center user from user at least in your Bitrix or you can connect to that call somebody by type any number and connect to that call. Also you can pass the call, move the call or transfer call to somebody else. Hey, we got another robot to track responsible person change. Okay, so quite simple. If inside of the deal you change responsible person or somebody change responsible person, you can put that deal to specific stage with notification or some additional robots. And I will change responsible person to Emin, voila. Deal changes from that stage to that stage because I changed responsible person. So, and then I can add additional notifications, alerts and so on. Okay, good, go further. And uh, change stage. Change stage is um, usually use that if you got special condition. For example, if you need document for a particular client, you use one process. Or for example, client do not need some documents. I'll give you a real example. That stage will be client do not need docs. Client need docs inside the video i will create custom field create field it will be a list documents needed and it will be yes or no 
okay save and in that stage you will select one of the uh, option yes or no good we're good for now yeah now we're going back to automation rules uh, we create change stage on that stage that if you move a deal on that stage a robot will check condition condition will be documents needed or not okay is equal to yes if yes then client needs document new stage client need docs it's like the fact of admin and also we actually can copy that robot and it will be like equal to no if no then client do not need docs that's it save close and move it here and here i will select yes so i'm clicking yes save sorry uh, closing deal and move to that stage question and answers and voila it changes the stage from here to here clean need docs because we selected yes on that custom fields now we're moving back going to that stage no save close move question and answers refresh your page voila click do not need docs because we selected no good okay let's go further so we're deleting that robots and manage workflow items change stage and absolutely the same story if you got pipeline right so i will uh, select this doesn't matter what i'm selecting i'm just saving that and i will create a new pipeline the same as a stage actually it will be uh, document needed document not needed so I'm closing that um, I'm going here and go to automation rules uh, change pipeline edit and the new pipeline will be called documents needed you, you can select actually a particular stage add condition and condition will be quite similar as previous one document needed equal to yes so needed save and we copy that robot and here we're selecting to no. It will be now apply documents not needed, and it will be new stage. Save, save, refresh. Uh, that deal disappeared from generals for all. But if we go into the documents needed, hey, we can. Oh no, it's not here. Yes, we have it here because we selected here. No, right. So we put that uh, deal back to general and we put to the st first stage and we put to yes going back to general we move into that stage again and actually if you remember i will just show it kanban settings config from fields and uh, documents needed somewhere here so if yes it should be moved to documents needed here okay and i'm moving here refreshing page deal disappeared i'm going to documents needed and we have that deal here as it should be so it's another view but uh, we actually we can show that field so we're putting that deal back to general we go in here general and automation rule we're creating new uh, manage workflow items and delete items so it's just delete deal or lead based on some condition so most common case when i'm using it i'm just using in leads because when i got a lot of junk leads i mean junk means that leads which have no sense it's just a spam and um, i can add it automation rule and i create that and delete item i'm actually not using any condition i'm just putting it here process stage and i will put that as a delete lead as when i'm moving lead here in that stage it deleted why i'm doing that because that is more simple than click on the lead and delete only the reason <laughs> okay so probably you can find better purpose of using that robot than i do anyway if you like that video click like if you got the questions about that video please put your questions under comments under that video and thank you and bye bye